Ned here, and my fiance Emily. And today we're going to be cleaning up the mystery stains in the ambulance. <laughs> Once we got everything cleaned up, we decided to go ahead and finish setting up the bed, modifying the mattress, and getting it all installed. This part that Emily's cleaning up is a cover that sits behind the driver's seat and it covers up a lot of wires that sit back there. I'm not sure how many of those wires I need to keep and where they go to, but this part was just kind of laying in there covering the wires. It wasn't installed very well, and even though it cleaned up really nice and it was super satisfying watching it uh, clean up, it really doesn't fit in very well and it might need modified in the future to sit more properly. While I looked for some more cleaning supplies, Emily went ahead and got started on the ceiling. It wasn't super bad, but there was a few spots here and there that really needed some cleanup. Luckily, the ambulance is designed with cleanup in mind, so everything's pretty water resistant, and it does make cleanup pretty easy and convenient. I believe these parts here are grab handles that were in the back, and they were particularly dirty. The rubber has just gotten old and kind of kind of crusty over time, and they cleaned up really nice. I did a little test spot on the floor to see how this floor would clean up and it's a little hard to see in the pic video but it looks a lot better. I spent a bit of time cleaning on the floor and I was really impressed with how well it cleaned up and how gross it looked along the way. You can really see here how much dirt is in this floor and how much is getting picked up. Some of it could have been in this old scrubber but I don't think very much of it was there. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this content, kind of seeing the fast forward cleanup here, or would you prefer to just see the before and after? Once we finished up with this, it was time to set up the mattress. We got a mattress for the bed, and it fits in here pretty nice, except I knew it would be a little bit too long in this back corner. And I was hoping we could just kind of squish it in, but it doesn't work very well that way. So we're going to just cut a chunk out of the corner of this foam mattress with good old turkey carving knife. Woohoo! The mattress company apparently doesn't really want me to get into it, so they've protected the zipper here. But trusty pick should be able to take care of that problem. Problem solved. All right, so we marked where the cut needs to be and we're gonna cut three or four inches in and then fit it back in and see how it goes. We used the box as a width guide for making the cut. Emily is ready to make the cut, let's do it. Hmm, okay. run for very long. It's starting to smell. You can give it a minute to rest too if you need to. It's yeah, pretty I stinky. Get the, so. the wire over it this way so I don't cut it. But look! Oh yeah! I just have to cut the cover. All right, the cut looks pretty good, so I think next step is just going to be to wrap the fabric over the top and we'll just uh, glue it back down so it holds the foam together still and we'll we be done. Make Test fitting, it looks pretty good. The mattress fits in really nice now, so we can go ahead and uh, put some sheets and stuff on it. Before I got too carried away, I wanted to test and make sure that this platform could actually come out without too much work, so that if we ever needed to load furniture or anything in it, we could do that. Turns out it was a good thing I did this test, because I did end up helping somebody move just a few days later. And if you're wondering, you can fit a lot of boxes and stuff in an ambulance. The bed platform is pretty much done. And I can't wait to take this thing out on its first trip. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Maybe even subscribe. But until next time, see you later.